There's a rock shelf up there where we can rest. Just stick it out till we get there. I can't feel my legs anymore. If only I could fly. Hey, Luigi, the whole point of your coming all this way was to get the mountain wizard to help you fly. Don't forget that. Ruby! Oh. Dooigi, are you all right? Oh, heck yes! This little old mountain is nothing! A piece of cake! Watch! My goodness gracious! Oh, that's what you call a high hurdle! Wow! Hey, you guys! Come up here quick! There's some sort of cottage or hut or something here! Oh. Come on! Just a few more steps and you can rest, Amy. It looks really nice. Hey, you guys! This is really terrific! There are even fixins for afternoon tiffin! Come on! This tea is most refreshing. One sip and my muscles relaxed and my brain cleared. I know what you mean. One sip in my lap slang. I hate puns. I thought it was quite witty. What? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Really, it doesn't. Anybody who has her kind of looks doesn't need a great brain. And such refined manners. Pipe well, the piggy extension. You know, I'm kind of wondering who lives here. That should be obvious even to a punster. The mountain wizard, of course. The wizard? You think so? In that case, we have no time to sit around in the sun trying to get a tannin. Mr. Wizard! Mr. Mountain Wizard, where are you? Mr. Mountain Wizard! Heck, he doesn't seem to be around. I have to say, this is really strange. He obviously stepped out for a minute, hero. Well, I don't understand. Why was there tea for four? Well, no one was here, but the fixings were, so I made it myself. Are you saying you entered a vacant house without permission? I'll remind you that you did the very same thing, Mr. Holier huh? Than Thou! Hmm. Man, anyway, who the heck cares? It's not as though we're setting fire to his cottage or otherwise devaluing his property. We'll wait for him to come back. Ruby, wait with us, please. When we meet him, he'll give me some wings so I can fly. And we'll knock off a couple of dados and emelins together. What do you say? Well, all right. Sis, I'm afraid the situation is hopeless. Let's get out of here. You don't want to do it. You do not want to run out on me. Oh, 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 Get Hero Sword and give it to the Mountain Wizard in exchange for the elixir, or you will die a grisly death. Something lingering, with boiling oil in it, I fancy. Hey, hey. 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 I sure wish the wizard would hurry back. Me see, to hear the patter of little feet from the Northwest Quadrant fellows. Huh? Goodness me! The doctor? But you changed into the Mountain Wizard before, didn't you? What the eye sees... ...is not always understood by the brain, youngster. I do believe I've got something here for us to nosh on. Here we go, guacamole and swineback. Have some, Ruby. Mm. Oh, no, thanks. That's all right. 
It's okay. Believe me, you don't have to worry about a thing. You can scarf down every crumb you want. She can do anything she likes here, Tweegee. It's her house, after all. What was that you just said, Doc? This is Ruby's house? That is precisely what I did not <sighs> say anything else other than, young fellow. I don't quite understand. Was that a yes or a no? Is that the straight dope, Ruby? Actually, yes. I'm really terribly sorry. I had no idea in the world. I'm afraid I made a bit of a mess in here. I'll clean it up now if you'll be so kind as to show me the broom closet. It's quite all right, Duigi. I should have told you sooner. Don't worry about it, please. No, it's my fault. I insist on making amends. Here, I'll get this. <gasps> oh, dear. But how come your house is on Miracle Mountain, Ruby? Isn't this where the wizard lives, or am I wrong? You mean you haven't figured it out yet? Wake up, you little meatheads. Ruby is the wizard's apprentice. What? Ruby is the mountain wizard's apprentice? Apprentice? Who? Oh? All right. Well, terrific. I can't get over it. The mountain wizard's apprentice? I had no intention of keeping it a secret from you. It just never came up somehow. There sure as heck is no reason for you to apologize, Ruby. And just where does the mountain wizard live, anyhow? Up near the top of the mountain. The top of the mountain, huh? little favor? How about giving us a ride up there? I beg your pardon? Well, obviously, you can fly over to where the mountain wizard lives, can't you, huh? Well, yes, but... Uh... Oh, yes, Dweegy. Oh, please, Ruby. It looks well nigh impossible to get up there. And on the way back, I'll fly down with you using the wings the wizard will give me. What do you say? Doesn't that sound companionable? I do believe you're serious, aren't you? Sure I am. I've never been so insulted. I would like to disabuse you of the notion you seem Ruby! to have that I'm some kind of pack mule. Oh. Oh. oh, gosh almighty. Oh. 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 Looks like Duigi got oh. his heart broken. Oh. Oh. Insulting your lady love is perhaps not the wisest choice you can make sociologically. <laughs> Turtle, if you don't hand over that natural coral sword immediately, this old geezer is going to be bird seed. Hey, sis. What? I think I've seen that old man somewhere before. Now that you mention mm -hmm. it. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe it's. It's the mountain wizard. Hmm? Mm. Gee, he no longer seems to be among those present. Hey, I wonder what happened to the doctor. I have no idea. He's not a wizard for nothing, Boneheads. Forget about it. The sword is more important than the wizard for now. Go get the sword, Devil Bird! Golly, just because a guy can't fly, is that any reason for his girlfriend to hate him? I mean, it's not like I accused her of handpecking or something. Huh? The Mountain Wizard? Are you the Duigi who's traveled a long distance to see me? Oh, yes, I am. 
Oh, mighty wizard, hear my plight. Although a bird, I'm unable to fly. Won't you help me, please? You want to fly, hmm? Yes, Mountain Wizard. It's been my dream ever since I was a little tad. But you have two strong, healthy legs. Oh, I don't care about those unsightly appendages. I want wings that will send me soaring skywards into the cerulean ethereal vault. Hmm. If I have not misinterpreted your declarations, you do not want the excellent legs God has provided you with. But don't you think he gave them to you for any number of good reasons? I'm a bird, Mr. Wizard. I should be flying, not running. It's very disappointing. I even lost the lady I love because she finds my flightlessness wearisome and infradig. Hmm. That is a very sad tale indeed. Very well, since you asked, I'll give you what you want. Let us repair outside. All right! Oh, please hurry, Mr. Wizard! Don't nudge me, Luigi. I'm just so impatient. Oh, I can't wait! Now do exactly as I say. Clasp your hands tightly together. I can manage that! Now shut your eyes and come where I lead you. Well, where are we going? Shh, be silent, Luigi. Now you may very slowly open your eyes. Go ahead. You don't need my help, Luigi. You're flying. I'm flying. I'm flying. Look at me. I'm flying. I'm flying. Look at me! I'm flying! That's wonderful! Congratulations! <laughs> Ruby! Look out! Anything the matter, son? Huh? I think you just had a nightmare. Oh, that's right. It was just a nightmare. Thank goodness for that. And from the way you were carrying on, it must have been a doozer. Oh, it was horrifying. Ruby had been abducted by these no goodniks, and I had to. Luigi! Huh? That's Ruby! Ruby! Where are you? Where are you, Ruby? Unless my old ears deceive me, the voice came from up yonder. I don't see a thing. Hmm. That's because the mist is covering your field of vision. What we ought to do is thin it out a little. <gasps> Ruby's up there and in trouble. I've got to go rescue her. Oh, as my friend Sylvia says, young love is a wonderful thing. Oh, 
Hero, we're boxed in! Save us all a lot of trouble and give up. You have no place to go. Yes, our <laughs> obstinacy is most foolish. Attack, please. Hero and Amy, I've got to do something to help them. Hero, you okay? Grab him so he can't run away. Oh, Amy, I'm coming to help you. It's that pesky ostrich. See what you're thinking? Boulder it is! Here we are! me, you guys. I was happy to be able to do it. Matter of fact, I've never been so happy in my life. Isn't it better than flying through the sky, Duigi? Ruby! You did a really wonderful thing there. You got that right. I guess I just took my legs for granted. Never knew they could do what they did. I'm so glad to have been able to help my pals. Yes, your wonderful prowess at running is part of your charm, Duigi. My what did you say? This is the first time in my life anyone's ever accused me of being charming! Yippee! Hey, Luigi, what the heck are you doing? We're supposed to be going up, not down! Yeah, I know! I'll be back up soon, but first I have to clean up the unconscionable mess I made in Ruby's cottage! What in the world has gotten into him all of a sudden? <laughs> Our men just born dumb. Don't worry, he'll be back, just as he promised. In the meantime, let's get going. Yeah, the summit of Miracle Mountain is right there. Yes, it is. So very, very near. <sighs> just a medium watermelon seed squeeze away. Finally, Hero and his friends are about to make their way up the last difficult slope that leads to the top of Miracle Mountain where they hope to meet the mountain wizard and beg their various boons from him. Meanwhile, in a dark forest elsewhere in the mountains... Oh! Oh, oh my aching back! Oh, I haven't felt this way since M! Oh! Oh! oh. 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 They've done it to us again, in case no one's noticed. Oh. You wouldn't kid me, would you? Hey, sis! What is it now? Glom over there. Uh, ah! 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 Oh no! Thus, Imogen has been completely possessed by the evil demon Jack. Now, I know Imogen's done many wicked things, but somehow I can't help feeling just the teensiest bit sorry for him. 